All right, we've come to the last video for the evening and I'm looking at the last two questions of the third worksheet, question 69 and 70, right? Let's take a look at question 69. The students cannot participate in a competition if they do not come early. Now, usually, if and unless um, take place um, interchangeably. So if the question is an if question, then the answer will be unless. If the question is unless, then the answer will be if. Okay, so they kind of occur together as a pair. So in this case, you will guess that if will be replaced by unless. Okay, and unless has a negative meaning. So unless means if you don't. So that means I cancel out the not. Okay, so I do not is cancelled out as well because of unless being negative. Right, so now let's order the answers. The students cannot participate in the competition, right, unless they come early. Okay, so if they don't come early, they cannot participate. Alright, so unless they come early, they cannot participate. If they come early, they will participate. Alright, so let's transcribe that into the answer. The students, and this is a rather easy answer, and be very careful here, students with an S, don't leave the S out, cannot participate in the competition. And I'm doing this very carefully so I do not misspell any word as I'm copying it, unless they come early. Be very careful that you cancel out do not because do cannot fit into the answer either. So do not, they travel as a pair, they get cancelled as a pair. So done, question 69. Now question 70, reported speech. Remember, I told you before, for reported speech, there are many points of transformation, okay? So, so Mrs. Lim said to her student, could you please carry the books to the classroom? Take note that it is a question mark right here. But remember that the answer will be a full stop, okay? So whenever we open up the dialogue, anything that's in there, whether it's a question mark, an exclamation mark, whatever, always becomes a statement, a, a sentence with a full stop. No more question marks. It's no longer a question, all right? So let's get down to it. Let's transform, okay? So Mrs. Lim requested her student. So when you see the word requested, you must always pair it with you requested her student to okay to do something requested her student to do something all right so i cancel we could because i'm no longer asking a question so could doesn't isn't required anymore okay so what did she request her student to do mrs lim requested her student to and you is no longer there because it's her student now carry the books to the classroom. Now, what happened to please? You're right, it's cancelled. Why? Because the word please has been swallowed up in the word requested. So when you request, you're actually saying please. Okay, so please is cancelled because requested has now taken its place. Okay, so if you count, cancel could, one. You'll see that there are quite a number of transformations, right? One. Cancel you, two. Cancel please, three. Cancel the question mark and change it into a full stop, four. So how many transformations are there? Four transformations all together. Okay, so be careful. Like I said before in class, whenever we have reported speech, there are always multiple points of transformation. In this case, it's quite easy. You just need to cancel, 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 and cancel. Change it to a full stop. Okay, so that's it. I hope this series has been helpful to you. Have a good rest tonight, and I'll see you all of you tomorrow. Okay, bye.